Hi, in this video, we will see how to set up a funnel with an opt-in page, two bridge pages, and one offer. The funnel will look like this. This is my opt-in page. Whenever someone subscribes, he is going to be redirected to a rotator that will send him either, either to thank you page one or thank you page two. On these two pages, we will have a button sending that person to an offer. So let's see how to set this up in Optin Dojo. First, go to the Funnels section, click Add New Funnel. Let's name this Optin to Multiple Bridges to Offer. So to map out this funnel, let's go back to the drawing. We have one Optin page, Optin 1. And let's say that the URL of this opt-in page is located as optin1.com. Now for the bridge pages, I have two. So the first one is thank you one. The second one is thank you two. And the first one, let's say that it is located at, at thank you onecom And the second one at thank you two.com. We want to have a rotation that is even. So we will send the same amount of leads to thank you one as uh, to thank you two. If we wanted to send twice as much, for example, to thank you two, then we would put the, the speed at 10 here. And since it's twice as much as the speed of the first one, this one would receive twice as much traffic. Then for the offers, we send traffic to one single offer as defined here. And let's say that this offer is a wire plus one. So I would put my wire plus affiliate link here, then click on the track conversions, select wire plus and follow the um, video instructions here to connect my wire plus account to this specific uh, funnel offer to have the conversions tracked in real time. So let's save this funnel. Now that the funnel is saved, we have a new box appearing above the funnel instructions. So to track the opt-ins, to track how many leads we are getting from each of our traffic sources, we need to place this HTML script on the opt-in page, on the page that has the opt-in form. So the script will be placed on this specific page, which is the entry point of our funnel. And we can either place it in the header of the page or in the footer. It doesn't really matter. Once the script is placed, we also need to use this new lead redirect on the form here that collects the, the, the leads emails addresses and does the redirect to the next step. So uh, in your page builder, you have a way to change where the opt-in form redirects your subscribers. And at this place, you want to use the new lead redirect that Optin Dojo gives you for this specific funnel. What it will do is that it will redirect your leads to the next step of the funnel, which in our case is this, uh, is this rotator defined in the bridge pages uh, tab. Once the subscriber, which is once one, one of these pages, we want to have a button or a link somewhere on these pages that when clicked, send this person to the next step of the funnel, which is the offer. And to do this, we need to use a link defined in the bridge to offers redirect tab here under the funnel setup. So let's go there. Here you can see that we have uh, a link which by default sends the people who will click on it to the default rotator defined under the affiliate or own offers tab. In this rotator, we have defined only one single offer, but this rotator works exactly in the same way as the one we have defined in the bridge pages. So if we had multiple offers here, they would be selected randomly based on the speeds assigned to each of them. Since we have only one offer, this offer to redirect link here will send people clicking on it to this step. If we had multiple offers defined in this rotator, but wanted to send the people who click on this button 
to one specific offer from the rotator, then we would be able to, uh, to define this by selecting exactly which offer we want to send traffic to. Here I have only one, but if I had multiple, I would select it here. My link is a little bit different now, and this is the URL that I would use on the button sending uh, clickers to uh, that specific selected offer. That is all you have to do to set up and track your opt-in funnel, at least at the front-end level. What I call the front-end level is uh, this, what we see here. So someone comes on your opt-in page, subscribes, goes to one of your thank you pages, then goes to one of your offers. And if he buys, then the sales will be recorded in real time and attributed to the traffic source that sent you this converted lead. In the next video, we will see how to set up the email backend uh, of this funnel to also track the sales coming from your different follow-up sequences, from your different emails in the follow-up sequence, or from your broadcast emails.